So in this video I'll be showing you how to download any copy of Windows 10 using the official Microsoft download tool. So to start the download you'll need to head over to your web browser. In this case I'll be using Microsoft Edge, however if you're using Windows 7, Windows 8 or 8.1 you can also use Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So to download the ISO file you'll need to head over to the following link on screen now and that is benstechtips.com forward slash go forward slash win 10 official download so we're going to go ahead and click on that link and you'll be redirected to Microsoft's official site and once you've reached this page you'll see that you have to have an active internet connection and you'll need some data storage capacity in order to store the ISO file so assuming that you've read the system requirements and also that you have a Windows product key if you don't have a product key click the link on screen now to go ahead and buy Windows 10. If you want the enterprise version of Windows 10 you'll need to head over to the volume licensing center. So we're going to go ahead and download the applicable tool. Now this 32-bit version or 64-bit version does not relate to the version of Windows you want to install. For example on this computer I have a copy of Windows 10 Pro 64-bit therefore I need the 64-bit version of the tool. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows installed on your computer then you'll need to head over and click on the 32-bit version of the download tool. But you can use the 32-bit version to create a 64-bit image or the 64-bit version to create a 32-bit image as well. You can use either tool to create a 32-bit or 64-bit version of the Windows 10 ISO file. And for those who don't know 32-bit only works with up to 4 gigabytes of RAM and the 64-bit version will work with more than that depending on the version that you install. So we're going to go ahead and run the 64-bit version on this machine. So once you've downloaded the media creation tool we're going to go ahead and run the 64-bit version that we've downloaded. And we're going to go ahead and accept the user account control. So at this screen you're going to have two options. You can go ahead and upgrade this PC now we're not going to do that because we're already running Windows 10 and what we want is the ISO file for Windows 10. So we're going to go ahead and click on create installation media for another PC and click next. So at this screen you'll need to set up the language edition and architecture. So we're going to go for the English United Kingdom version. Next we're going to go for the edition which we want the Windows 10 home version in this example. If you want to install Pro or have bought a Pro license then you need to select the pro version but for now we're going for the home version. The architecture, this depends on the computer you're going to install Windows 10 on. License keys are interchangeable between 32-bit and 64-bit versions so as a general rule of thumb if you have more than 4 GB of RAM you'll need the 64-bit version of Windows 10. So in this case we're going to go ahead and click on 64-bit. Then we're going to go ahead and click on next. So in this video since we're creating the ISO file we're going to select the ISO file option in the next video we'll be creating a USB flash drive to install Windows 10 from. For now we're going to go ahead and click on ISO file and click next. So here this will allow us to save the ISO file that we're going to download and for now we're going to put it in the documents folder. So we're going to click on save and at this point it's going to start downloading the Windows 10 installer. This may take some time and if you've chosen the both versions that's 32 and 64 bit in one ISO file it will take a longer time since it's going to download essentially two versions of Windows. The file size is around 2.5 to 3 gigabytes. If you have downloaded both versions then this will make it between 5 and 6 gigabytes. So while Windows 10 is downloading you can actually use your computer that you're currently on. So once the tool has finished you'll notice the Windows ISO file that we downloaded has now been put in the documents folder. If you have any problems with this video please head over to benstechtips.com and create a post in the operating systems and software forum.